Hello folks, so it's the 13th of November, nice warm sunny day. I'm just gonna uh, turn the Swaledale sheep uh, to the tops today. So we've tailed them out, uh, clipped the tails, uh, which helps uh, them get mated more easily. We keep swales, they live on the hill a lot of the year, up on a heather hill. Uh, however, they are going to go on to North Country Cheviot Tubs, which uh, I'll talk to you about later in the video, but I think we're changing our breed and, and, and going over to the Hill Cheviot, uh, and I'll explain why later. So there's about 200 here, and with it being the 13th of November, these will be due about the 8th of April. Again, it's a little bit later than what we normally lamb, but uh, we're just hopefully hoping there'll be a bit more spring grass uh, as we get into April. We always lamb the swales outside. We do scan them. If there are any triplets, we usually just bring those inside, but there's usually only a handful. But uh, these pretty much lamb themselves and get on with it. We do shepherd them, we do check them, but uh, Sometimes the, the let's say the, the wilder breeds or the, you know the more primitive breeds we uh, they sometimes better left alone at lambing time because uh, too much human intervention can scare the sheep and you can easily end up with a sheep at one side of the field and its lambs at the other. So we tend not to over shepherd them if that makes sense uh, and only only assist if, if necessary. So we'll let them run out now and then we shall go and get the tubs. So, if you may have noticed with the other tops, uh, we didn't put any colours on them, any rattle, uh, which we don't usually. We, we allow the tops to run with the sheep for about a week, and then we'll put coloured rattles on from them. So, these sheep, we know they'll be due on the 8th of April. So anything without a mark on the back end, we all know should be lambing in that first week from the 8th of April onwards and then we'll add colour to the top so that we know then from maybe the 15th of April anything with a colour on we'll know a due then so we can alter the colours so it just helps us with management through lambing time we know when the sheep due so usually when you top sheep just to help uh, help get a reasonable number of lambs we do try and flush them a little bit so although there's not a lot of grass here there's just a nice bite as you can see the sheep seem very happy they've got the head straight down uh, and so that'll help hopefully just help uh, with the lambing percentage these sheep typically will average about 1.6 lambs per ewe which is for a hill breed, that's, that's, uh, that's okay. Right, we're going to get the tubs. Right, so here we have the four hill chariot tubs. We're right, going to go with the Swaledale sheep. So, boys, one of you going to tell me why we use the chariot tubs? Uh, we're using chariot tubs this time round because, you know, the nice fleshy sheep so can be fattened up on grass uh, and, you know, they have like, very heavy, filled out lambs. You know, they don't rely on any grain or probably and they can go like, quite high up on the fell, you know, without struggling. So Yeah, so the 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 sheep or a breed of sheep which are suited to our environment, aren't they? They can they can uh, live well off grass. And uh, so yeah, just what Harry, Harry was saying there, 
you know, just a few of the backs and they're just really fleshy. And these, none, of, none of these tubs have had any proving and they are literally as fit as butchers dogs. Really fit lads. So we uh, we used to keep all the Swearedales pure because they're like the local hill breed and uh, a lot of keep Swearedales to uh, breed mule give me lambs off. But we found the mules, even though we have lots of mules, uh, you know, they, they need quite a bit of proving at that time of year. So the idea is we get a more Cheviot type hill lamb, better carcass, uh, more valuable lambs, but then the future plan is out of our sort of Cheviot hill sheep will cross with a, an easy dam tup uh, to produce our sort of lowland sheep which hopefully are very maternal can lamb outside basically live off grass and, uh, and not have lots of uh, expensive concentrates so we're letting the tubs out now Tommy's now they go to the ladies stocky lads and watch the sheep they're coming over Lots of interest there. So some that don't like putting all the tubs together, but uh, these sheep, you know, we've decided to go all Cheviot. Uh, so just to sort of make sure they all get in line, we just there's plenty of tup power in here, if you will. Four tups to 200 sheep, so if they serve 50 each, uh, that's good. And then, you know, should there be any problems, hopefully there should still be plenty of uh, plenty of tups there to make sure they all get served. And so basically that's that's all the tup's job really. That's uh, that's what we keep them for. And uh, oh, it looks like one there, uh, one just jumped there. But uh, yeah, happy sheep, happy tups. And uh, like I say, the 8th of April next year is the time where these should be due. So there's mixed age group sheep in here uh, from last year's lambs, so we call them shearlings, uh, up to six crop sheep. So, there's one being mated there. So it looks like uh, we'll definitely, definitely on, have some at the, uh, about in 8th of April. And yeah, just a nice bite of grass in here, uh, which, like I said before, will just help, uh, help keep the lambing percentage up. Okay folks, take care, see you later.